Hello everybody, LAPD Code 3 here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPD FR today. Guys, as you can see, it is raining out here in the Hollywood area, cruising with the LAPD today in another episode, guys. Episode 170 now, we are just 30 away now from hitting episode 200. And we've recently brought up our subscribe count to 300 plus now. We are at 307 subscribers. I know it's been a very slow, extremely like snail, like snail movement slow to get that count up but I really want to take the time to thank a lot of you out there for uh, who's been subscribing to me uh, I know some of you are bots out there but that's fine I mean my subscribe count is good so thank you guys so much for you know taking the time out there guys and for you for the real ones out there thank y'all for subscribing to my channels you guys are awesome really appreciate you guys uh, so nothing new is installed Grammarly police has been uh, re-updated so we re-updated it with a California XML so now it's gonna have a more California based uh, 10 codes and such so hopefully we'll be able to you know did some a little bit of tweaking here and there but you know things that it needed other than that everything else is working fine so we're gonna go ahead and get on patrol guys so if you guys are watching this episode and you guys do like what you see don't forget to hit that subscribe guys enable notifications so you guys can stay tuned with all my latest episodes and with that being said we are going to get out ahead and get on patrol we Adam 23 show us 10-8 Roger that 3 Adam 23 alright guys let's go ahead and get on patrol a possible disturbance in Mirror Park. We'll take that. We got a disturbance call. Adam 23, show me a route. So, got a little bit of a sore throat in my throat, guys. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to try to be as discreet as I can. I'm not gonna try to get too excited or get into the heat of the moment of things. I know that it's a, it keeps the realism in there, but uh, yeah, my sore throat has not been playing nice with me as of lately so I'm trying to trying to get rid of it now you know it came in yesterday and all of a sudden I'm starting to feel it getting worse hopefully it's just a sore throat and nothing too serious because I know before there was COVID they you know we had things like sore throats and bronchitis and stuff like that so all right here we go we got a guy here standing outside in the corner here of uh, Glendale and West Echo so we'll pull over Hopefully we can get over. This gentleman will let me get over. Okay, that's great. So, guess we can go ahead and get over right now. Let's see what's going on here. Dispatch, show Adam 23, code 6. Is back required. Negative. 10 four, copy that. As you guys can see, that was the immersiveness. Now, now we got immersiveness. How you doing, man? What's going on tonight? Did, did you call? You're damn right. I called. Someone stole my cocaine. Uh, excuse me. I had my cocaine stash hidden right here, and someone stole it all. Your cocaine. You called the police because someone stole your cocaine? Yes, how many times do I have to say it? Someone stole my cocaine. Sir, are you high right now? How the hell could I be high when someone stole all my cocaine? Okay, calm down. Stand by. Do me a favor, turn around, put your hands behind your back for me, okay? I got you Attention all units, code four. No further units required. All right, turn around, put your hands behind your back for me. Okay, so... Who do you think stole your cocaine, huh? You sure you're not under the influence of anything right now that we can be aware of? So if I swab you right, so we swab test you right now, you're not gonna come back as uh, under the influence of any narcotics? All right, let's find out. Let's see if he's high. He's probably not high, but he's probably got a mental uh, mental uh, history. Let's go ahead and pat him down and see what he's got on him. Turn around for me. Anything in your breast pockets, anything in your pockets, in your pants, anything you got on you? We got a gun. And we got some drugs on him. Jonathan Evans. I knew a Jonathan Evans once. I think it was in fourth grade. 
a real classy, real classy dude. So he was real, he was really classy. He liked to dress, he liked to dress good a lot. It was, I don't know what was it with him. I guess his parents were rich or something. All right, buddy, let's put you in the back of our seat real quick, okay? Because it's kind of rainy out here. As soon as I can get the door open. All right, go ahead and have a seat, buddy. Watch ahead. So he might have been on something when he was doing that. Well, we found some stuff on him. He might have been, he might have been trying to take it. We got some unmarked pills here. Normally test these for PCP or uh, mollies. Maybe something he took. LSD pills was probably driving him nuts. LSD, there it is. Gram of brown powder could be anything from heroin to marijuana, maybe more PCP. We'll double check that just to make sure. And it's testing positive for heroin. As for the weapon, I uh, need to double check that gun too, make sure the serial number. Looks like it was concealed in tape, so we'll see. Uh, actually, it was scratched off, so it's so it's a stolen weapon. All right. Adam twenty three to dispatch. Three Adam twenty three. Requesting eleven forty eight. required in Mirror Park. Right, so let's go ahead and get his charges in. Let me wait this out. Age 42. He's had a few citations in the past. And here comes Hollywood Division Transport. You guys have probably seen the Google images on this. If you guys haven't, this is one of their uh, transport vehicles that they use at Hollywood Division. You guys could probably check it out on Google. Is where I got the idea from. Texture was done all was done by me, but uh. The vehicle belongs to someone else. I cannot. I know it's on GTA 5 mods. I'm sure you guys can find it. It's a uh, vapid vehicle, but I made it to look like a Ford. Try to. <laughs> Traffic offenses. So right now we're just gonna get him for narcotics possession of Schedule One heroin and LSD. Uh, he wasn't under the influence of anything, but he was just. I don't know, he was just being, can't even say what we can, can't even say, don't even know what to charge him with honestly, other than the fact that he was just in the, causing a disturbance, disturbing the peace. So disturbing the peace, and misuse of 911, we can get him for that. Alright, so did my partner just get in by himself? That was cool. So yeah. Oh, and for the stolen weapon. I know I forgot about something. See, guys, I always forget something, but I remind myself every now and then. Possession of a weapon. Let's see. Possession of a... Uh, possession of a stolen firearm. There we go. All right. So Jonathan Evans is going to jail, guys. That's a code four. We're going to go ahead and uh, get back on patrol. Citizens report in... Looks like we're gonna have to go back to Echo. Underage person with a fake ID. Adam 23, show us en route. Well, looks like we're heading back to Echo Park, guys. Back to West LA, back to East LA, because it looks like uh, there's an underage person trying to buy alcohol. Why am I not surprised that people be doing that? They try, and you know, kids try, kids want to do that so. So, you know, they want to do that so bad these days. They want to vape early. They want to... Well, I've seen kids. I've seen literally 13, 14 year olds in the streets vaping. And I just... I wish there was something I could say. But, you know, it's their life. So you can't really say much about it. Other than to, you know, try to, try to tell them to stay... You know, those that haven't done it yet, trying to tell them to stay away from it. It's really not worth it. People think it's a stress reliever. Others think that it uh, keeps them calm. But at what? But what's the risk? You know, at what? What? At what cost? At what cost will it be? Me right now, I'm actually trying to get rid of a sore throat that's been bogging me for a while now. So, trying hard not to get. Just trying so hard. This is this is just already. I can already feel my throat burning. <laughs> but here I am doing an episode for you guys. You know, because you guys are my fans, and I know that's you know health is important, but. 
I can't really do much without, you know, I can't really do much anyways, because I'm still currently, uh, still currently unemployed, and I was really counting on the YouTube Partnership Program. I was hoping that by now I would have at least what I needed for the recommended, but unfortunately I don't, so I can't do the YouTube Partnership Program. Hopefully I can do it next year, though. You know, it's always a new year, so... That way I can provide for my so that way I can provide for my future. Even if it's not a lot, you know, I can provide for my future. I can be consistent with the episodes and hopefully I can do better for uh, you know, better for myself. Been in the game a long time doing doing a lot of good things for people, you know, helping out with help, you know, helping out with uh, helping out with chores, helping out with uh, you know, family chores and stuff like that growing up and Always, you know, always cooking, cleaning, but never, never got rewarded for any of that in the future, you know. Guess I'm still waiting, I guess. And here I am blabbering about my life. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well, we're coming up to the uh, store soon. As soon as this light goes green, we'll head out there. Uh, my response time is not that good. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know he was coming up on that. Let's go ahead and hit this one. A23-1097 Young girl Oh, she thinks she's cute, she's trying to get away, she's trying to get out, she's trying to get away with it How you doing, sir? Hello, officer, this kid just tried to buy alcohol with a fake ID And how do you know it's fake? Well, for starters, no one's real name is actually John Doe. You mean Jane Doe. And secondly, you can tell where it's been printed with a home printer. Can I see it? Hmm. Yeah, definitely fake. Alright. So, you're trying to buy alcohol with a fake ID? Why are you trying to do that? You know that that's a crime, right? That's a federal crime. Really? Because the clerk is telling me that you are. So, um... My friends and I are having a party, and I really just wanted to be the cool kid. You ain't got to be the cool kid to, you know, you ain't got to buy f alcohol with a fake ID to be the cool kid. You know, there are many different ways to be the cool kid. You don't have to break the law to be cool, you understand? I know, please don't arrest me. I'm not going to arrest you, but I'm not going to, I mean, I, I could arrest you right now. But Stand by. Let's see, let's just see, of, uh, let me see your ID. May I see some ID, please? This Thank is her you. real ID, Mikhail, Mikhail Myers. Okay. All right. Let's get a pet check on her. Dispatch, come in. Three, Adam, twenty-three. Requesting a ten twenty-seven on a Mikhail Myers. Uh, birthday twelve seven two thousand five. Okay. All right, Mikhail. So here's what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna give you a warning. All right. If this happens again in another store, and we find out that you know, we have your name now in the database, so if we find out that you are respond, that you are doing this again with any other friends, next time you're not gonna get a warning. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get a citation, and we're gonna tell your parents. You understand? All right. If you want to drink, wait till you're 21. Okay. All right. Go on out of here, okay? Consider this a warning. Fucking asshole. All right, sir. If she comes back here again with that same ID, then make sure you notify your workers, anybody else with them, okay? Make sure you notify everyone else. All right, just in case since another worker comes in and she tries to do the same stuff with someone else, make sure you notify them. All right. Have yourself a nice day. 
Adam 23, code 4, uh, at the store. Attention all units, code 4, no additional support needed. And he's just walking off somewhere, look up into the hills. This is weird, I don't know why people do that. But uh, yeah, that's code 4 guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get back on patrol. Target is carrying a weapon in West Vinewood. We got a possible 5150 in progress. Adam 23, show me en route. 10-4, copy. 3, Adam 23. Units respond, code 3. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Someone in the hills already. Uh, walking up in the Hollywood Hills out here with the uh, weapon in their hand. Oh uh, god, I should have went around the left side. Can't believe I did that. Well, you guys didn't see that anyway, so what not, right? <laughs> um, I will be asking you guys if you're still watching this episode. I will be asking you guys uh, if you guys want me to bring the snow mod for the rest of the for the remainder of the year. If you guys want me to do the snow mod? for LSPDFR here so if you guys want me to do that leave me in the, leave some comments and leave me an answer in the comments section down below let me know if you guys want to do that or not what the hell is the Meriwether security doing out here looks like a uh, local Hollywood security responded local Hollywood security responded I don't see the security guard he must be checking around the house how you doing ma'am are you the caller Yes, sir. I saw a girl with a gun wandering nearby. All right. Do you know her? Is she a neighbor, a friend, anybody you know? Uh, I guess she has a mental disorder, but that's all I know. All right. We'll try to find her. You stay inside the house, okay? We're going to need an air unit on her since so we find her. We're going to need an air unit and officer's backup. So hopefully she doesn't hurt nobody with that weapon. So she had a gun, so we need to be careful here. There she is. Adam 23, visual. 10 4, copy that. Visual on the suspect, armed and dangerous. 10 4. Shots fired, shots fired. Panic button activated. Backup needed and fine with you. Where's my backup? Where's my backup? I don't have no backup. Attention all units. Assistance needed and fine with you. Units respond code 3. Attention all units, we have units requesting air support over Vinewood Hill. You alright, partner? You alright? Why is the California State Parks responding? Oh, because it's local patrol, I forgot. Try to get around here, let me see. I see her. All right, here we go. Come on, jump over. Uh uh. Man, is she a zombie or what? Clear code four. Suspect neutralized. No further units required. Jesus. Adam 23 requesting EMS for one female, multiple GSWs, unconscious, not breathing. Ambulance, assistance required, and fine with you. Got the SMG out of her hand. She 
Jesus, California State Park's responding to a non-park area? Like, what the hell? Let's see this. X25-7438 Ocean. Aaron Cross. Pretty sure it's her. Psycho bitch, man. She she really tried to take care of officers. Man, I don't even know if any officers are even even alive after what happened. I see some bumpers being dropped here and there. I don't see no other bodies. Stand by. Any other bodies around? Let me see. Did they all make it? Yep, but they're all. Damaging the roads and they're damaging their cars. Let me get out of my let me get out of their way before they wreck mine. And it looks like she didn't make it. So we'll get a corner out. Alright. A23 requesting LA County. Requesting LA County Corner. Assistance required in Vinewood Hills. Well, at least that one worked, so I wasn't sure of that. I wasn't sure when I wrote that XML, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. It actually came out pretty good. Oh, you're in my way. You're in their way. Right, let's get this vehicle out of here. Let's get the zapper, start zapping everything. Get my partner out, cause not much we can do here. Come on. My partner will literally take forever and a day to get here. Do I gotta zap you too? All right, so that's the code for it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get back on patrol. Units respond code three. We got a potential scammer at our house. Adam 23, show us en route. 10, four, three, All right, guys, this is the first time we're responding to this call and we've never actually tested it. So let's make sure that hopefully everything goes according to plan. So we're looking for a scammer. I wonder what kind of scammer are we doing? Probably a probably an advertiser that's scamming people out of stuff, scamming people into out of money. Maybe. Uh, before we before we even started recording this episode, guys, I had to take a step out of the game for a minute because apparently my custom questions were disabled so for some reason. I was engaging in a traffic stop and it was actually a pretty good one. Oops, I missed my turn. And. The custom questions were disabled. I couldn't use them. It turns out it was actually Ember's XML that was actually bugged in the previous update. So he did another update prior to that one, which was like literally minutes prior to that one. So I re-downloaded it, got a new update, and now my custom questions are working again. So hopefully I won't have that issue with anymore in the future. Potential scammer at a house. I wonder what the hell he's doing. Let's I think this is the house right here. Oh, we're coming up on it now. Potential scammers at this hour of the night? Can someone say burglary? Oh, let's wait for this guy to go. Oh. Oh, he's just backing up there. Okay. A23-1097. Oh, hi. Hey, come here. Where you going? Where you going? Come here. Come here. Taser, taser, taser. I got him. Got him both. Hey, come here. Stay right there. Stay right there. Both of you. Show me your hands. On the ground now. You on the ground. You on your knees. Suspects in custody. 
units. Get out of the way! Near code four. Holy shit. Woo! Now I gotta run all the way back over here. We gotta go back and get my other, the other guy too. God, I think this throat, I don't know, I think this throat inflammation or whatever it is, it's getting worse now. I'm even having a hard time breathing right now. I'm trying so hard not to breathe hard into the mic. I don't want to sound like, I don't want to sound like, uh, like it's a problem, you know, but I'm trying so hard not to breathe into, not to breathe too hard into the mic. It's very distant from me, but given that I'm a big guy, you know, breathing hard is just, it's all I've been doing now. Hoping by next year, my 2022 resolution would be is to, um, get back to my average weight again that I used to be somewhere in the era, you know. High 190s, early to you know, early 200s. Let's get a backup unit out here. Requesting code two backup. Backup required in uh, West Finewood. And I don't think it's gonna work because for some reason my code two backup's not working, and I think it has to do with the grammar police. I will be fixing that in a f future episode. But let's go ahead and ask him what's going on here. All right, bro. So what are you guys doing out here, huh? This hour of the night. What are you guys doing out here? Disable, please use custom questions. What is going on here? Okay. So what are you guys doing out here? Enjoying the beautiful weather. All right. You have any idea why we're out here? Because you got nothing better to do? No. And what's with the tools, man? Why do you carry tools? There's your answer. Can I go now? Nah. I want to know what's with the lock pick and lockout tools. I just think picking locks is fun. I just never steal. I just pick locks then we lock them. Uh huh. Alright. And what about the vehicle? Is this yours? The van's yours? Alright, let's see if we can get a. Uh... Needed in, uh, I'm trying to get West some law enforcement West. out here, but it looks like none of it's working. So our uh, ultimate backup's not working right now. So we're on our own for now. Let's go and have my partner pat him down, pat him down, check the van, and then do our paperwork and get a transport out for him. He's got a pistol. He's got two guns on him. This guy didn't really have anything on him. But uh, Mr. Cisco Romero here, he's got two pistols and unmarked pills on him. Looks like one is a ghost gun. Looks like both are ghost guns. Possibly ghost guns. So we'll do the narc test first on the unmarked pills. Probably fentanyl. Probably LSD pills. We'll see. All right, so they're most likely gonna be Molly's. Yep, XC MDMA. All right, now we'll check the weapons. We'll already get them for the for this one because this one's already scratched. This one's most likely. Let's see. Cisco, because this is his gun, so it's a ghost gun. But this one is scratched, so we can't charge him. We can charge him for that one. Charge him for both, actually. And we'll get him for attempted burglary. Let's go ahead and get a transport out. Requesting 1148. Oh, that's the only thing that seems to be working. Oh, we didn't even check the van. Hold up. I'm taking him out here with I'm not even I haven't even checked the van yet. Oh that was a weird Y'all saw that frame drop? What the hell? Frame drops <laughs> Random frame drops Another gun hidden scratched and more and more drugs instead of key house key blanks. So we got him for possession of burglary tools for sure. Definitely have him on possession of burglary tools. 
a briefcase full of grams of baggy white powder. Look, like you said they were getting ready to set it up in someone else's house and probably make a probably try to act like they were seniors, like they were concerned citizens. Methamphetamine. So we got them for meth. And then for the SMG, we're pretty sure it's an automatic weapon. It's, it's not, not going to be. Yeah, it's scratched. Okay. So we'll get a flatbed out for this. We'll end up charging both of them with their weapons. Let me see if I can get a request for obtain plate number. See who it registers to. Katie Hudson. So this was her van. So she, all right. All right. So let's go ahead and get. Oh, not that siren! Come on. All right. Let's just go ahead and get this going in. Right now we got them on both for property, criminal trespassing, attempted robber, uh, attempted burglary. We got them for possession. Oh come on, dude! Don't do this to me now. I had no choice. I had to do. I had to do it. I had to do it. It was getting there. Uh, we're looking for the. I know it's not real, guys. I'm sorry, but we, I had to do it. Looking for possession of tools. Let me see. Some kind of tools or something that they've been using. I guess we don't have it in here. Let me see. I guess we can put it for the weapons they had. Brandishing deadly. Concealment of a firearm. Scratch. All right. And then we get him for resisting arrest. And the possession charge of uh, methamphetamine. Possession of methamphetamine with intent to distribute. Cisco Romero, same charges. Possession of two weapons. We'll get them also for the possession charge since it's both in their possession. So possession with intent to sell. Schedule two narcotics. Attempted burglary residential. Possession of MDM, uh, possession of MDMA ecstasy, and possession of two weapons: stolen firearms and ceramic weapons. Illegal possession of an automatic weapon. And uh, did we get resisting arrest? We did not. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's a code four, guys. Uh, we're gonna take care of those guys real quick, and then uh, we'll head back to the station. All right, guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and head into the station here, park it right over down here where we had it. Looks like all the other unmarked station vehicles we sat earlier. Looks like everybody took off. So let's go ahead, guys. And oh, I left the hazard lights on. I did not see that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do our court cases, guys, and see what we got for the charges on the people that we arrested today, or last night. Uh, we had one Jonathan Evans who had multiple charges for what he did. Uh, possession of stolen firearm, possession of heroin, possession of LSD, misuse of 911, disturbing the peace. Uh, we got him sentenced to five years in prison and fined $156 bail. Uh, Gus Lewis, and these were the two burglaries, the two burglar suspects that we arrested last night. Uh, resisting arrest, of course, criminal trespassing, possession, possession charges, attempted burglary, possession of stolen firearms, and undetectable firearms. Uh, he's going to be charged 
sentenced to seven years in prison and fined over $5,000 bond. Uh, granted probation after release. I'm pretty sure Cisco Romero will be our MVP. Yes, he's going to be doing 14 years in prison for possession of ecstasy, scheduled possession of heroin, intent to sell, attempted burglary, possession of stolen firearms, and illegal possession of automatic weapons, possession of detectable firearms, and the resisting arrest nonviolent, which added another extra month in prison. So 14 years, one month in prison, and $5,200 in bonds at the release. So. He is our MVP. Cisco Romero is our most valued perp of the night. And that is going to do it for our episode, guys. I want to take time to say thank you all for everything that you guys have gotten for me as of late. All my new subscribers. Everything you guys have done uh, since we started our journey just a year ago. So thank you guys so much for everything. It really means a lot. And I uh, hope you guys do continue to subscribe to my channel, guys. Leave me some comments down below. Like I said, your feedbacks are always appreciated. I'd be happy to respond to you guys at any time I can. So I will be doing another episode soon. Hope you guys have your enabled notification bells on. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.